No Barcelona. And what a test for these two sides as they meet in the final of the UEFA Women's Champions League. It's Real Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan, don't take risks in your defending third, and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. the right pass.
Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top quality goal. Underway again here, 1 0 the score. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. Well, looking over to the referee, what's she going to do having handed out the yellow card already? position at bay. Has a go! Well, the truth of the matter is, she didn't really make the goalkeeper work very much at all. Really a very poor ball. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Oh, she's in a really promising position. Well, she's failed to hit the target. Well, that could be a big moment in the game. What a chance that is. And unable to keep the ball. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. And it is a booking, and their approach is nothing short of feisty. Well, they have to keep their discipline here. They can't afford to lose another player. A decisive clearance it was. They couldn't maintain possession. Real chance! A really sad goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. And there's the delivery. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there is a cover-up. Growing pressure here. And another corner. Now the corner played into the box. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Well, behind for another corner. Playing it in, relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Gonzalez! And a goal to increase the lead in this final! Will they be stopped now? Zidane. Well, here it is again, and you can't lose possession in those areas. She must be more aware of the danger there. That's not good play at all.
So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Just the challenge that was required. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Sandy Baltimore. On to Lawrence. Three of foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. stage in this match. Second half underway here, and PSG really need to lift themselves. And the ball is loose, and she grabs it at the second attempt. Well, you can sense the relief, can't you? It's a really good initial stop, though. Sandy Baltimore. Innistet. And she got the score, and the keeper was up to the task. Substitution it is for PSG. It's a short one. Now sliding in field. It's a perfect challenge. Got to it easily, the keeper. Claudia Sornosa. Well, that was how to nullify the opposition. Thirty minutes to go, then. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Now, can she put this one away? Still possibilities. Nicely blocked. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine sight, wasn't it? And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. No nonsense clearance. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? They're showing good defensive judgment. Plenty of support here. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And it is a booking, and their approach is nothing short of feisty. Well, they have to keep their discipline here. They can't afford to lose another player. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Oh, lovely incisive pass. The full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. Oh, good chance! And this situation could be dangerous. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And the referee will go back now to the earlier incident. Yellow card it is. that is she has to do better there not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned
so two red cards let's make it more and so bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Gary will go. And dealt with that ball comfortably. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Now, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers, but overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the spoon. And now they save on the moment. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this week. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. It's really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.